Chris Voss from thechrisvossshow.com. Thechrisvossshow.com. Uh, I want to name this post Chris Voss in the Raw. And I want to explain to you, a course the, across the course of my history, a lot of people have thought that what I do is sometimes not planned. A lot of things that I do uh, appears to them to be something of folly, where they're like, oh, you know, Chris Voss probably doesn't plan that out. Everything I do usually has a plan, a mechanism, a meaning, uh, a representation behind it. Um, and so what I've always tried to share with you with the Chris Voss Show is a very basic, elemental experience of a very honest approach to being an entrepreneur, being online, being in business, being a manager, being an employee, being successful, maybe at whatever you want to do, and uh, hopefully touching your life and making a difference or maybe having an impact or an influence to a point that you can become much more greater and much more successful than you are. I probably, over the last two decades, have been built to be in a position of blogging where I can share this data, this information with you, and I, I can really get off on it. I mean, I, I, I think when you reach a point of success, you want to share it with other people, and you want other people to be as successful as you are, or you, you think everyone is as smart as you, and you want people to enjoy the same benefits. And I think if you're a true leader, that's really your motivation and what you want to achieve. <clears throat> One of the things I want to share with you here is I've gotten a lot of compliments. I've gotten a lot of calls from people. And they're like, Chris, we love how you're always in the raw. You share your bloopers. You get up and pontificate for 10 minutes, errors, everything in between, all that sort of good stuff. And what I want to impart to you is that I do that as a matter of purpose. It's not a matter of error. It's not a matter of laziness. It's not a matter of I don't care. I'm not going to sit there and edit the thing or whatever the case may be. I want to share with you these moments because a lot of times there's a certain amount of uh, there's a certain amount of inspiration that comes when I discuss these ideas. Now they come from usually 20 years of being in business, but I want to share with you that experience, and I want you to also know that I'm human. Okay, one of the reasons I do video blogging, and this is done as a purpose, the errors and bloopers are done as a purpose, is you know years ago I used to sit and have friends that would get involved in Match.com and some of these dating sites, and they'd always meet the person who typed the perfect sayings, and they'd spend hours manicuring the perfect way to entice the other person. And then when they meet them, they'd be like, uh, you're a buffoon. You're an idiot. I, you, you must have spent hours writing that crap to entice me because you can't, number one, form two words in, into a sentence. And number two, you're not, you don't have that same... Um, eloquentness that you would had online. So one of the things I share with you on the chrisvossshow.com plug is that it's raw. And I do want you to laugh a little bit. So I'm going to try and throw some comedy in there and have some fun with you. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. But I want you to know this is for a matter of purpose. And that I would hope as you come away, you would be like, you know what? Chris Voss may not be perfect, and no one is. No great leader and successful person is, no matter what you want to think. But number two, that he's a human being and that he gives a crap about hopefully giving me some ideas of being successful. I would hope to someday be as rich enough as I want it to be to, number one, give away all my wealth, which I probably would. Uh, and number two, to be able to share with as many people and lead, inspire, and give as much as I possibly could to help people achieve the most they could out of life. Okay, I'm not the most prettiest person to probably deliver that message. And so, in that context, I want to deliver to you Chris Voss in the raw. So when you look at me, the audio, the audio may be unperfect, the video may not be in HD. Who wants to see me in HD, really? Um, I don't. So, I don't care what you think. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to come across to you as a human being. And that's the most important aspect that I think I can deliver. Is because that no matter what I've experienced in life, no matter what success, failures, etc., money, all that sort of BS that you may put into it, I want to communicate to you that I'm like you. No matter what I've made, no matter what I've done, no matter what I've accomplished, no matter what all of us have done that I'm a human being like you. 
we put our pants on the same way. One of the most important things I learned, because I have friends that are billionaires, I have friends that are millionaires, I have friends that have been successful all their lives. <clears throat> the most important aspect is for me to realize that they're human beings and deal with them as friends and human beings. I got to tell you, with my billionaire friends and my millionaire friends, you know what we sit and talk about? Girls. We sit and talk about girls and how to get girls and how to date girls and all that good stuff. We don't sit around and plot the overthrow of the free world. Uh, we don't, we're not Davos and all that sort of good stuff or whatever you want to put into your conspiracy theories. So sometimes we're just sitting around, you know, talking about the impact that we have as human beings. We're getting older. We want to get girls. We want to be happy. We want to eat the right sh stuff. We want to live longer. All that sort of good stuff. So. The one thing I want to impart to you is the Chris Voss Show is always going to be honest, truthful, upfront with you. You're always going to get Chris Voss in the raw, and I want you to know that's done on purpose. Okay? I could be one of these bloggers that types out the perfect thing, and I spend five hours giving you this beautiful thing, and you're like, oh my god, he's so smart, and all that kind of crap. Some of the greatest compliments I get come from my readers, and they usually call me and they give them to me. And one of the things that I'm most proud of, that I can tell you, is that I've had a number of people say that, Chris, we love how you give this to the bloopers. We love how you make the mistakes and you leave them in. We love how you're that human being who cares about us, and you communicate that, and you're trustworthy and honest. And you don't cut out the errors. You leave them in, because sometimes maybe they might be more funny, or... Sometimes they might be just honest, which is really why they're left in there. It's because I want you to know that I'm a human being and that we're being honest here and we're being real. The other compliment that someone paid to me really recently uh, that I've heard a lot of and it finally connected the dots was someone said to me, you know what, Chris, you can sit and pontificate for 10 minutes. And sometimes, yeah, it might be a little too much information and our ADD can't handle it, but you can sit and go on for about 10 minutes. But the reason the rest of us on YouTube have to do these videos where it's like, cut one, cut two, cut one, cut two, cut two. He goes, the reason is because we only have like one or two minutes of content. He goes, so we have to make all this BS and these flash and these cuts and errors and whatever. Um, we have to do all this so that we can make two minutes into 10. He goes, but the thing that most people love you about you, Chris, is you can go on. And you can pontificate, sometimes you repeat yourself uh, for 10 minutes to really make the point and really uh, hopefully re uh, reach a point of reason where we understand what you're talking about. And the thing I do want to tell you is that I do repeat on purpose. It's not as a matter of, like, I've got nothing better to do. There's a point that I'm trying to drive home to you, and by repetition is the mother of mastery. So I want to share that with you also. So... Please recognize that when you see those things on the ChrisVossShow.com, that there is a matter of purpose, there is an agenda, there is a master plan uh, that we want to take and do. And it is for the enticement or the embitterment of my readers and what they want to do and what I want to impart to them. In ending, the one thing that I want to share with you is what I think about every time I make a blog post on the Chris Voss Show. I grew up in the 90s, the early 90s, without anyone helping me as an entrepreneur. It was very lonely. Uh, I grew up with partners who contributed little or had no vision uh, and had no ideas. And they looked to me as the person who had to deliver those. And I remember how lonely those positions were for close to 20 years. You're lucky enough in this day and age to have someone like me who's willing to share this information freely through my consulting firm, strategics1.com, call me. Um, but I think about that entrepreneur who's out there, who's reaching for that answer, and sometimes might be at the bottom of their cash till, the bottom of their drawer. I think about the time sometimes where I was down on my last $100, and all of a sudden the lights went on to a business that turned into a multi million dollar company. I think about those moments, and I think about the people that are out there, and maybe if I can touch that one person who's listening, that might make all the difference. So if you tune in to ChrisVossShow.com, you see Chris Voss in the raw. You see Chris Voss maybe using some language. You see Chris Voss maybe being who he is, bloopers and all. Okay? It's on purpose. And I'd also like to thank you for taking the time to uh, be involved in this process, to listen to this process. 
And I hope that in some small way this makes an impact or maybe subconsciously changes the quality of your life. Thanks for coming by the Chris Voss Show. Dot com as always. Chris Voss Show in the raw. I really should probably rename the site. <laughs> we realize we're doing it on purpose. And we're really busy. Thanks for coming by. Bye-bye.